incredible photos distant to third phase of moon from Project UFOs, who continuously brings in amazing evidence. Edward Darwin managed to capture this massive cigar-shaped UFO. If you've captured anything amazing, like Edward, send it to third phase of moon. The 15th century Inca city, Joseph Stanton, while visiting the sacred site, looks in the direction of a young girl's observation of what looks to be a cigar-shaped UFO hovering over the ancient site. Now let's take a look again and zoom in 600%. What in the world is that? It's blowing and it's... I don't know what in the world it is. But it seems like it's coming over here. But the first intelligible thing was that came to my mind after I saw it for about a minute was, get your video camera. So I ran in and got my video camera. It took me about another minute to get it going. And I went outside, and you're gonna see the video. When I started videotaping it, it had changed shapes. It was not the original shape that I had seen. And you're gonna see this uh, change so I want you guys to uh, look at the video. And I also had a professor from Pima College here in Tucson, Arizona, that also did some, uh, he did some special effects. He stabilized the object where you can see it spinning and changing shapes. And also you see a flock of birds. There's a lot of birds getting afraid of that object and flying toward me. And uh, I thought the object was coming toward me, but it, it, I think it was an optical illusion or whatever. But you'll see the, the stabilization and different effects where it finds the, the edges. And he also did, uh, oh, I don't know if it was infrared or something like that, uh, thermal and stuff like that. <laughs> Excuse me. But anyways, check out the video. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, I got, I got uh, just four pictures of it. And they're increments of approximately about uh, 15 every 15 seconds we took a picture of it where you can see it's definitely changing shapes so um, I guess that's all I gotta say so uh, enjoy the, the video thank you bye welcome back to third phase moon Blake Cousins here with incredible video shot all the way from Napa, just after the earthquake, Alex Christensen is joining us right now live. He's shooting this via his iPhone, shooting the computer screen, thus the lines and the resolution showing up. But I wanted to welcome right now, Alex joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon, all the way from Napa first. So do you live in the area? Why were you there? I was visiting Napa, do a little wine drinking, just being a tourist, checking out the beautiful area in Northern California. And all of a sudden that earthquake came about three or so in the morning, just freaked us out. So the next morning we decided to walk up and go hiking and just look at the area, see what the damage was. We went hiking up a hill. We saw something up in the sky. We thought it was like a balloon. There's a lot of balloons up Napa area, but it, it was weird and just started moving at a weird angle up into the clouds, it changes orientation as we watch, which a balloon would not have done, and disappeared into the midst of the clouds. So you were with multiple eyewitnesses on the ground over there in Napa just after earthquakes. Sometimes UFOs and earthquakes and natural disasters have a common bond going on. Do you think what you saw was a scenario of possible alien life visiting a natural disaster? 
possibly it's it was just too much to think that it was this giant destructive earthquake and then the next morning we see this thing right above the scene just basically hovering and then moving when we were looking at it we're all looking at it taking pictures looking up and then it started moving away and off into the distance at first it was just hovering and then it went away that's the thing that blew our mind well, at first we thought of some kind of balloon from the angle where we were, but when it started moving, we knew it wasn't a balloon. It wasn't an airplane. Let me ask airplane. you, let me ask you, Alex, this question. See, the video lasts for about 30 seconds. How long was uh, this eyewitness accounts while you guys were on the ground over there witnessing this thing? I think it was probably around the area for about a minute, but until we started looking up in that area and getting the cameras, we were looking down in the valley and it was off in the angle to our left and we started looking over there and then we started getting footage of it. It's an incredible video. I look forward to the original high res HD and you figure out how to get that to me. I know these files, this HD is a hard file to get out there but there's some ways to do it. It's like wetransfer.com is a good one and there's a, a even Google hard drive is a good way to send uh, HD videos right to us at third phase unit you could actually send up to almost 10 gigabytes of file size so I hope when you get back from your uh, vacation that you could get that to us I'm glad you shared this via Skype but we'd like to get a higher detail of this it's an incredible video let me ask you uh, one last question did you uh, have a feeling that it could have been a drone of some sort the way it moved if it was a drone it's like no other drone that I'm aware of it didn't look, it didn't have rotors, it didn't have wings, and just the, the way it was stretched out and long, it didn't look like a normal drone that I've seen on TV with a propeller or a jet. It was going in a total different angle from what you'd normally see a normal airplane type drone going. Let me ask you, uh, how long did this uh, object look to you and, and how big what, what was it in scale to about three quarters of a football field it, it was big we finally saw it was hovering off to our left up the hill kind of looking up the hill you could see it well wow, Alex uh, you know if we could get a eyewitness testimony from on the ground over there in Napa and some of your friends if you could arrange that in the future at certain times do you think we could uh, get it sure. sure yeah no problem imagery from NASA. Expedition 43, Flight Engineer Scott Kelly of NASA, Soyuz Commander Gennady Padaka, and Flight Engineer Mikhail Kornienko of the Russian Federal Space Agency dock at the International Space Station on March 27th. What was captured while this happened is simply astonishing. Take a look. If you look closely, you can see the crack has some kind of structure to it. What is it? Leave your comments below. Other anomalies popped up while this rendezvous happened above planet Earth. Take a look at this. This anomaly appears to be moving at a different speed from the Soyuz craft.
As usual, NASA pulls away the camera when anomalies appear in frame. Could this be a military space exercise? Some kind of top secret mission or are extraterrestrials visiting the ISS? Everybody leave your comments below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Blake Cousins. Of a tornado strike just in Los Angeles, south of LA. A cylindrical shaped object is captured by Therese. Take a look. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Military or something otherworldly? Could these rare storm events be magnets for UFOs? Leave your We got uh, Linda on the phone who took this uh, photograph that we're looking at right now. Hey, Linda, thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase. Well, it's nice to be with you guys. All right, great. Uh, tell me about this photograph that we're looking at. It's, it doesn't look like any uh, aircraft that I've ever seen before. Well, it, 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 it's very interesting. We, we had come to Panama to live. We've been to lunch up in the mountains, and we're coming back to Boquete, and I was just snapping pictures of the treetops and the beautiful clouds and I got home and I'm I'm like I'm, what what a strange looking cloud that one is so I, I blew it up a little bit and I thought well that's a, it almost looks like a contrail a very thick contrail but I thought I, and my husband being a former pilot I I said honey doesn't that look weird and he said yeah it does so we just kept blowing that picture up until you could see the strange shape at the front of that white cloud and I, I've just never seen anything like it. I mean it looked like it was a, a large square with maybe a you know a hole in the middle <laughs> it, it, I really couldn't tell if it was a square an oxygen shape or what but it was just fascinating because really quite honestly you couldn't see it with the naked eye. Quite interesting. Uh, yeah, this rectangular shaped object, we're enhancing it right now. It looks definitely like there's structure to it. It's not a, you know, cloud formation. And then it's leaving this kind of chemtrail uh, behind it. I, I'm not exactly sure what you caught here, Lindo, but it's definitely a UFO. Well, I, I, I happen to think so. And, and the interesting thing is, I wasn't looking for UFOs that day. Had no idea that I caught that until I got home and I was like, you know, that, that thing couldn't have been visible for, you know, more than just a couple of seconds uh, there because of the fact I was taking so many pictures. And, I, and my camera only has an 18 zoom, so that was the limitation. But uh, fascinating to see the cloud, the unusual cloud, and then to see that at the front of it. Uh, just it, it, To me, it was like, wow. I really believe in UFOs now. Hey, and Linda, I really appreciate you sharing this uh, this incredible photograph with us and uh, sharing it with the world. Well, you're very welcome. I was hoping by sharing it, maybe other people had seen something similar to it. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to be sharing this right now in third phase. And like, it, like Linda just said, if you've seen anything like this object in the sky, leave your comments below. And if you've captured anything amazing in regards to UFOs, contact Third Phase of Moon via Skype, Facebook, and Twitter. We'd love to see your videos. My name is Blake Cousins. Keep your eyes on the skies, and we'll see you again next time. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're doing a breaking news event. 
Toby from his office was looking at the ISS space station and he suddenly saw uh, something come into frame on this live feed and he shared it to us right here at Third Phase and I'm sharing it with you right now. Uh, the people around the world, check it, take a look at this. We're uh, speeding this thing up. The video lasted for nine minutes. We're cutting it down to a minute, sped up uh, about 900% and we're bringing in, in some brightness contrast. So we get a good look at what's going on with this craft and I wanted to bring along Dr. Jandy Elias. He, uh, I just shared this video with him and I wanted to get his thoughts of his first opinion when I shared this video of what you think this is tracking the ISS. You know, first when I was looking at it, I, I didn't know what exactly I was at. It was space dust particles, but then as the video progressed and you actually see things starting to move. In the very beginning, you see these orange dots around it and one in particular is on, above it, almost as if it's going to it. And at the end of it, the entire thing kind of shrinks up a little bit. So it's almost as if it's a giant, uh, it could be a, a mothership for all we know, with these little orange balls being the small Earth excursion ships that Stan Friedman talks about that are always, you know, visiting Earth. Well, could you tell us, Dr. J, what did uh, Stan T. Friedman uh, say about some of these uh, different kinds of ships visiting Earth and some of the other sizes that are out there? Well, a lot of people keep talking about these motherships, and they're saying, well, if they're going to come traverse these, you know, tens of scores of light years or hundreds of light years to see another planet, wouldn't they bring a, a lot more with them? And the answer is yes. What you're seeing when you see a 20-foot diameter disk is you're not seeing the ship that actually came from another world. You're actually seeing a little scout ship. More than likely, what you're saying is the mothership or a ship that's carrying all those smaller excursion vehicles it's probably parked somewhere in our solar system orbit, maybe by the moon, maybe by the sun where it's getting some of its energy, maybe by the outer planets. We don't know where, but the point being is wherever that giant ship goes and releases the other small ones to do the activity is what we're seeing. So every time people see something in the skies of Earth, that's what they're seeing, less, let alone being a, a mile wide or five, ten mile wide ship. Absolutely. Whatever is uh, stocking the space station here, we're not exactly sure what it is and if you think you have an idea leave your comments below and you know share your ideas of what's happening in this incredible video shot from the ISS and people the UFO hunters out there like Toby Lynn that captured not captured but uh, noticed this anomaly sharing it with us at third phase minute that's what we want to see and the best way to do that is either twitter facebook skype uh you know subscribe on youtube third phase moon share it with us share it with the world my name is blake cousins everybody stand by for more uh, breaking news coming in soon